case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1992 Supreme Court of Indiana case, Jones v. State, the court focused on the principle that a conviction must be overturned when there is not enough evidence to support it, unless there was substantial evidence of probative value to support the conclusion reached by the trier of fact. Jerry L. Jones was convicted of rape after allegedly entering the bedroom of C.L., a woman he lived with, and persistently asking her for sex until she gave in, allegedly without consent. Jones appealed the conviction, claiming there was insufficient evidence of force, imminent threat of force, and non-consent. After a bench trial, Jones was convicted and sentenced to 20 years in prison. The Court of Appeals affirmed the conviction, but Jones appealed again, arguing that there was not enough evidence of force or threat of force, or that C.L. did not consent. Ultimately, the court reversed Jones's rape conviction due to insufficient evidence of force or imminent threat. The decision affirmed the principle that although force or threat can be inferred from circumstances, actual evidence is required for a rape conviction. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.